Sports of the Major Pod Network YouTube channel. Look at Dude and Waltz, it's me. Always ready, Matt Cardona. I am headed to the airport. No, Dude and Walt are not coming with me. I'm dropping them off. They're the dog sitter. I'm going to a tan and I am headed. I can say it. It's a spoiler, but this isn't live. I'm headed to Atlanta for NWA. Or as as it will be on my new shirt, MCWA. Just landed in Atlanta, but I needed to eat some Chick-fil-A. It's the best. Mm. It's me, I'm here in Atlanta, ATL. Um, I love these Marriott rooms, but it's gonna be a mess soon. It's not a mess yet. I'm gonna lay out all my stuff for tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is a pay-per-view. I don't exactly know what I'm doing. Uh, kind of know the plan, but you know how this business is. Uh, but I'm always ready. A uh, little snafu earlier. A lot of traffic, dropping off my dogs. Couldn't tan. I knew I was going to not miss my flight, but it was going to be tight. Because parking sucks at the Orlando airport. So I changed my flight, tanned. Now I'm here. So, sushi's coming. Uber Eats, baby. Needed some new merch for tomorrow. So, got, I'm always ready. I got a bunch just in case I'm here for a whole weekend. But, uh, the bloody L.I., but yellow blood, NWA, but not NWA. Matt Cardona, Wrestling Alliance. And then just a strict Matt Cardona, Wrestling Alliance. So I'm gonna broski cut these two mofos now. I'm gonna teach you guys how to broski cut. It's real simple, actually. You take the shirt, you hold it up. Preferably a brand new shirt. Does it work with a shirt that you've had before? Yeah, but I feel like brand new ones work the best. Kind of fold it in half, uh, you know, as even as possible. You know, most likely I'm gonna rip this shirt off so like it doesn't matter if it's not a perfect, perfect cut. So I'm not gonna keep it forever. Like you can already tell it's not perfect, perfect, but it's close enough. Just match the seams up, right? And then what you're gonna do, lay it down somewhere flat, take the scissors, and then you cut at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So I like to, as you can see, show up some trap, side peg, lat. So I start nice and high. Also though, you know, gotta take in consideration the logo. So that makes every broski cut a little different. You don't wanna necessarily cut into the logo. This one I can a bit, cause you'll still get it. But if it's something with text, um, you won't be able to read it, you know what I'm saying? So. These aren't the best scissors, but it is what it is. Now, luckily, this logo is like pretty centered, so I can do a nice deep cut. Not the best scissors, but better than nothing. And if I'm running into the ring, I'll always cut off some of the bottom, so. It doesn't look like I'm just, you know, naked under there because the shirt will be long in the trunks. Tomorrow I plan on wearing jeans, but I do want it a little shorter. So I'll just cut a little bit off, just a little. And it also helps it with the big rip at the end, you know? So I'll do that. Yeah, damn, I should wear better scissors. Scissors are very important too. Like the kind of scissors, these are okay. And then last but not least, I will cut, I'll show you right now, like, looks pretty damn good, right? But I'll just cut the little uh, slice. Back in the day, I used to actually try to cut V's into shirts, and then I realized when you just slice, it turns into a V-neck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you don't have to cut in the V. I used to, I used to cut in the V, Oh man, uh, that's a disaster. Just slice it and it turns into its own V. That's right. Got that broski cut, baby. Oh yeah. So Uber Eats sushi looks pretty good. On Uber Eats, it gave it the, uh, it didn't even say like four point whatever. It gave it the metal. So looks good. I like it. Let me, let me, let me, let me tell you a shot. 
Uh, everything looks, I don't like big, big rolls. I like this, good size, good portions. I'm, I'm gonna enjoy this motherfucker. And then my Dasani water, which is a mix of the water that's still in there and tap water. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot uh, some shirts, so a big hunt anyway. Got some clothes, some Stranger Thing figures, and let's see what they got here. Anybody I need? Let's see if there's some chases. I doubt it though. The protein bar section. When you're on the road, I hate protein bars, but you gotta do it sometimes, so. I usually go for Cliff Bars because they have a lot of carbs. But we'll see what else they got here. And this is not a uh, paid advertisement for Cliff. They should give me some money for this. Hotel gym was too packed. Headed to LA Fitness. Back from the gym, got a rush to get this shit. This, this is my road stuff. A little Walmart. I love this one in the bag. A lot easier. And bananas. So. This works as like a breakfast or post workout shake for all you uh, major fitness challenge people looking for a little trick on the road. Just bananas and oatmeal, baby. Or oatmeal. Um, I messed that up, but bananas or oatmeal. And uh, any protein, really. This is so much easier because it's just in a, a bag. Uh, today at Starbucks, they did not have oatmeal. When I went for the Starbucks and the Target, which is great. They didn't have oatmeal, so I had two blueberry muffins. Yep, carb up, baby. <laughs> look at that. I got the mask, got the bendies. Look at what a major mark. Wait a minute. You got that, baby. Oh, man. Uh, Ziggler and Bobby want to know where their gear is. They're wearing it. <laughs> Backstage here at NWA. I'm a surprise, a secret. Uh, but I think the fans are really going to enjoy what I do tonight in the show. Just picked up my gear from Rick. I'm about to make my NWA debut. Got the new merch, got the major pot dog tags. Uh, get the merch, frozentees.com. Always ready, you know I'm always ready. You know I had new merch. Josh Chernoff here for fight. A lot. Of... I'm ordering my, my sushi Uber Eats. Absolutely. Uh, main event of the show. Ooh. Uh, do you think I should go spicy lobster sashimi? Tuna sashimi. I will talk about it later. What's up? If you can grab, if I can get in on that. But no. no, there were there were a lot of people that I expected to see tonight. You were not one of them. But here you were. I mean, we go off the air. You're there. You have the ten pounds of gold in your hand. Yeah, right. Tell us why are you here? Well, I'm not going to reveal that information to you, Josh. I mean, I came just to cheer on Trevor. Me and Trevor, we go way back. We used to ride together. We used to work out at the gym together, believe it or not. Um, he was not happy to see me. I don't know if he's upset that he hasn't had an action figure in over a decade. That's not my fault. That's not my fault. I'm the Michael Jordan of Breast of Collection. I don't make the toys. I mean, I do make toys. You do. But I don't make all of the toys. Right, just major bendies. Nice plug. I'd be upset if I was him. But <sighs> Mike Knox, people don't understand the history I have with Mike Knox. We've been... Best friends since what? When did I meet him? 2006? It's, it's over a decade. Almost two decades. So the Pope puts his hands on Mike Knox. Of course I'm going to intervene. And then Mick Foley comes out, trash talking me again. Mick, are you just following me everywhere? Stop. Stop following me, bro. I am the king. The deathmatch king and the king of Long Island. So why am I here? Like I said, I'm not going to answer you. I'm not going to give you all the answers. I will say this. I wanted to say hi to Trevor. Catch up. And then I had to save Mike. And then that title just so happened to be on the floor. I said, that looks like a great championship. Yeah. They, what, what, what do they call it? Well, I mean, it's, it's the 10 pounds of gold. I would, does you it had, really weigh 10 pounds? Well, you had to find so out. I had to pick it up. I'd say it's about 10 pounds. All right. I'd say it's about 10 pounds. So that's really it. You know, that's, yeah. that's why I'm here. Well, uh, will you be back? <laughs> Listen, I, I, look, I, see this logo right here? Ooh. This is the MCWA now. The Matt Cardona Wrestling Alliance. Okay. Are you going to buy the shirt? ProWrestlingTees.com? Of course. Maybe NWA can make me some shirts. I'll get money from them. Money from ProWrestlingTees. Because I just want buzz. I want money. And I want gold. But I'm not saying that's why I'm here. Well, you heard it or didn't hear it. Matt Cardona is here or maybe not here. 
But tonight, he was here, the NWA. Just got back to the room. Um, man, pretty cool. Debut in the NWA. Um, I'm all over the place. I am, uh, I'm still here, not just in any particular company. I'm still here in this business. I'm proving that. Uh, 2021 was my favorite year in the business. 2022 about to start. Uh, killing it in GCW, Impact, NWA, AIW, all these indies. It's a lot of fun. FWF. Um, it was cool to be with Mike Knox. Mike Knox is somebody who um, I met in Deep South in 2006. I always thought he didn't really get uh, a fair shot. So hopefully now this uh, little group in NWA, hopefully... We do something with it and hopefully it lasts. And of course I have merch, uh, available at prosecutes.com. And uh, yeah, cool little night, but I, we got sushi coming. And I wanna unbox these uh, figures that I got from, uh, from Target earlier. These these Stranger Things figures, they're like, they remind me of uh, old school Ghostbusters figures. You you squeeze the legs and like the head pops up uh, on Dustin and the mouth opens on 11. So yeah, uh, awesome figures and uh, awesome now I got sushi coming. So let's see. What did you do on Saturday night? Hmm. Well, I opened new figures, I ate some great sushi, and I held up the end of the championship over Trevor Murdoch's head. Until Saturday, and I met Jade, and she said, uh, she says nice things about Smart Mark. 